The next item she sold is this uh, antique early American cat by Knickerbocker. It's gray. It's mohair. And it says pajama case. I don't know what that means. 1930s, 1940s. So that's what the tag looks like. She got this at a thrift store for two bucks. Ended up taking a best offer of. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about big money, unexpected bolos that were sold by my featured members, members that have joined my Bolo Buddies channel to be featured in videos just like this. Um, I'm going to tell you where they got the item, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These items are fantastic. I know I learned so much from these videos, and you are going to learn a lot also. So uh, the goal is to buy low and sell high, and that is just what they did. I am going to link all of these channels down in the description. If they don't have a channel, I will link their eBay store down below also, which is a great way to learn and check out what other people are listing and selling. And you never know, you might find something you want to buy. Uh, Christmas is coming. All right, let's start right here with the first eBay store. This is Horse and Hair Curiosity Shop. And I always say she has one of the most amazing stores I've ever seen. The stuff she finds is just so different and unique. And she just has a great eye. So we are going to go into three of her bolo items that she sold on eBay. The first item she sold is this vintage Patience Brewster Crinkle Gordon uh, Pumpkin Stands Up 8 Inches. And Patience Brewster can be a bolo. So if you see that brand, you definitely want to look it up. She got this at an estate sale. She paid $4 for it and she sold it for $87.50. The next item she sold is this Deborah Scholl, S-C-H-O-C-H, -C -H, not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, Bethany Lowe Folk Art Halloween Vegetable Totem Figurine. And she picked this up on Facebook Marketplace for $20 and took a best offer of $160 on this. The next item she sold is this one-of-a-kind wooden Halloween witch sitting on a bench, Skull Pale Jack-O-Lantern. So she said that she paid $35 for the woman and she added the bench, the jack-o'-lantern, and the pail to make it one of a kind, which is just fantastic. I love that she put her own twist on this. So a little artsy there. And she sold this for $210 plus shipping. All right, the next items come from Thrift and Style 1156. And this is her eBay store. And again, these eBay stores will be linked down below. So definitely go and give them a follow. If you're not familiar with the follow button on eBay, what you do is you go up and you click this little heart and that will allow you to follow their store. All right. So what did she sell? She sold these bookends. They're Murano bookends, ocean wave sculpture, cobalt blue, V. Nason and Company, Italy, MCM Prop. And they are beautiful. She got these at the Goodwill for $8 and they sold in eight months for $699.97. So um, I know the Goodwill is starting to price things high, but she only paid eight bucks for those. How incredible is that? The next item she sold is this. Uh, Nova Development Photo Impact Pro 13 sealed. So it looks like it's some sort of software. And she got this out of a dumpster at an office store. So dumpster diving, she sold this for $34 and she has sold two of them. So cost of goods was free and the buyer paid shipping on those. This is Hair Putty. Garnier Survivor Rough It Hair Putty Strong, five ounce retired, lightly used. She got this for a dollar at the Salvation Army and she sold this for a best offer of $35 plus shipping. The next item comes from Got Junk 
in our trunk and she has an amazing YouTube channel. She's starting to do these videos called Why Did I Buy It? And she talks about different things that she purchased and she tells you why. She was an estate sale. She, you know how you go to estate sales. She was the person running the stale, sales. So she has a ton of knowledge. She also has her what sold videos. Um, she keeps them short and sweet and there is no sound um, other than just music playing. So you have to watch it, but it's only a couple minutes and you will learn so much from those videos. So definitely check those out. All right. So the first item she sold is this vintage 1997, my favorite Teddy's Roy Kirkham coffee cappuccino cup and saucer set. She got this at a thrift store for $2 and she sold it for $19.99. And what I want to draw to your attention here is this item has a chip on it and it's still sold. So just because an item has a defect does not mean that it will not sell. Right here is the chip. So that is just one thing that I wanted to let you guys know about. A lot of times people will find a chip and they'll just be like, I'm not listing it. I'm just not going to do it. And one thing that I like about Got Junk in Our Trunk is she brings things to my attention that I wouldn't have picked up. And this right here is a vintage porcelain switch plate. I probably would have walked right past it. It's really, really cute. It's MCM, which is mid-century modern. She got this in a bundle of items and her cost of goods was 75 cents. And she's turned that into $22.99 plus shipping. The next item she sold is this hat. And I just love this one. It's a vintage new old stock 60s paper hat soda jerk snap back with stand back headache medicine promo. So she said uh, that she got this out of an ephemera lot and her cost of goods was approximately $2. She took a best offer of $25 and it sold to the great grandson of the creator of the stand back medicine for headaches. So that is a really cool piece. The next item comes from Amazing Steals and Deals, and I just featured his eBay store on my YouTube channel. I dedicated an entire video to his store and his sold listings because he is a major bolo finder. Fantastic items. So definitely go and check out that video. And what he sold is this. J. Fox Ellie Bronze, the Trapper Helping Hand Sculpture. And he picked this up in an estate sale for $20 and took a best offer of $400 with free shipping. Check it out. And the next item here that he sold are these glasses. They are authentic Morgenthal. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Frederick's Bacchus wood and stone eyeglasses. What on earth? And this is for frames early. He said they were his uh, father's. So they're from his father's estate. And he ended up selling these for $450 and free shipping on that. The next item I, that he sold is these Pe Peslin Platinum Genuine Brown Crocodile Dress Shoes, size nine. He got these in an estate sale for $30 and he took a best offer of $180. And this is what the tag looks like on the inside. The next item comes from Vintage Spice and she has a brand new YouTube channel. She has two videos out. Please go down and sub her up, show her some support and love and help her get started. But I will tell you, her videos are fantastic. She's doing a great job. It does not seem like it's her first videos. I look back at some of my first videos and I'm like, oh my goodness. Um, but she has definitely paid attention and doing a great job. So check her out, Vintage Spice. And here is what she sold. She sold this artisan miniature dollhouse real oil painting by L. Morganati, Marsh Heron Bird, one of a kind. Here is the back. She sold this for a best offer of $130. You guys, it's a little dollhouse size. Check it out. Is that incredible or what? Um, so yeah, her cost of goods was approximately $5 because it was in a big lot of dollhouse items. The next item she sold is this original Marks Ben-Hur playset. Uh, it's for parts. It's incomplete, 1950s, 60s. And you can see here, looks like it's plastic, I believe. Yes. And let me see if there's any markings on the bottom. Sometimes it'll say marks. It probably says marks somewhere. 
But you guys, this ended up selling for a best offer of $90. She purchased it in a lot and her cost of goods was approximately $3. The next item she sold is this uh, antique early American cat by Knickerbocker. It's gray, it's mohair, and it says pajama case. I don't know what that means. 1930s, 1940s. So that's what the tag looks like. She got this at a thrift store for two bucks, ended up taking a best offer of $100 for that. This next item comes from Ray Nathan RZ09. No YouTube channel, but a fantastic eBay store that will be linked down below as well. So you guys can go and check that out. Lots of cool items. You can get some Christmas shopping done. All right. What did she sell? She sold this Rainbow Surprise Blue Sky doll. Uh, slime fashion and it is an interactive toy and it looks like it is new in the box she got this off of ebay for $34.99 plus shipping and ended up selling it on ebay for uh, $74.90 with free shipping the next item is this Bratz doll that was her daughter's and she's selling her daughter's Bratz collection off right now and she has some very collectible Bratz dolls a lot of them that are going for big money this one sold for $151.99. It is fashion or passion for fashion destiny from 2001. And the next item sold on Poshmark. It is um, Calico Critters Fox Family and Suitcase Playset. And she is E. Wills Ray on Poshmark. So if you want to follow her over there as well. And this is a cute little playset. She got this at a thrift store for $2.99 and sold it for $39. And she said she knew about calico critters from watching my channel. I do sell calico critters. I also like to part out the dollhouses. Um, I really uh, like parting things out. Okay, this next one comes from Terry Mindful Recycle. If you guys want to follow a channel with huge, big money bolos, you got to go follow Terry. She is incredible. Um, she does a lot of estate sale sourcing and she will pay up for her items, but she gets big returns. So definitely go sub her up. And what did she sell? She sold this uh, synthesizer and she got this on the last day of an estate sale. It was originally priced at $400 and... It was marked down to 150 on the last day, and she ended up selling this for $671.37 plus shipping. So again, she paid 150 for it. Um, some of you may not be at that point in your journey where you're willing to put out that much money, but uh, Terry is very, very good at sourcing at a little bit higher of a price, but she only does it if she knows she can sell it for a good return. She is just really, really incredible at looking at sell-through rates and really getting things that sell. So um, let me know in the comments, what is the most you will spend on an item? Or like, does it depend on what, do you like look at comps and decide, okay, if something sells for $600, how much are you willing to pay for the item? 100, 50, 25, or will you go up to half, 300? Let me know in the comments, kind of curious at what you guys hope to make when you're, uh, sourcing for items. Okay. She also sold this, uh, pioneer. It's a AM FM stereo receiver. And she got this at a garage sale for $10 and she sold it for a best offer of 245 plus shipping. The next item she sold is this Minolta camera. It's a movie camera and I believe it's vintage. And she got this at a garage sale for $10 and it's been sitting in her money pile for two years. She finally listed it and sold it for $238.97 plus shipping. All right, the next one comes from Gail's New and Vintage. No YouTube channel, but here is her eBay store. Lots of fun little items, wide variety of stuff. Um, again, great store to look at for Christmas gifts. And she sold this Fitz and Floyd referee timeout cookie jar from 1992. And she got this at a yard sale for $5. She said it did take a long time to sell and she sold it for $131.03. So I don't know about you, but I am a long tail seller. I am fine with waiting as long as I'm turning a good profit and $5 into 131 is fantastic. The next item are these vintage, ooh, how do you say that? Kazuru, Kazuru, Zuru, I don't know, K-I-Z-U-R-E, curling iron rods. 
and thermal hair and comb set. Eight of them. She got these. Someone gave them to her and she took a best offer of $80 on those plus shipping. The next item she sold is this Aurora plush pig hogwash. And she ended up uh, selling this for, I believe, $79.99. And she got it at a garage sale. She said she saw this on Zombie Bargain Hunter's channel. He has a fantastic channel. He sells tons and tons of plush. Definitely go and sub Robert up as well. Zombie Bargain Hunter. All right, this item comes from Mom Knows Treasures, and she is just starting out on YouTube, and I'm telling you what, she is just doing a fantastic job. Definitely go and subscribe to her channel. You will definitely learn from her. She is great, and she has an awesome personality and uh, just a joy to watch, so check her out. And what did she sell? She sold this 2002 Bratz Sasha doll. And she got this at a YouTube auction. I believe it came from Mr. Buys a lot. She paid $27.50 for it and sold it for $69.99 plus shipping in one week. The next item she sold is this Anna Lee set. It is Santa and Mrs. Claus. They're Anna Lee dolls from the 1970s. She got these for 99 cents each at a thrift store. They took a week to sell and they sold for $64.08. Plus, um, plus shipping. The next item are these vintage uh, Sid Sydney's, S-Y-N-D-E-E apostrophe S, Cindy's? Yeah, I think that's how you say it. They're craft dolls. And I think a lot of times people just walk past items like this. And you see them here and there, and maybe not these exact ones. Um, she did say that she got these for 25 cents each at a yard sale and took a best offer of $40 on those. The next item she sold is this Tupac Thug the Best of Part 1 exclusive limited gold color two times vinyl LP, new and sealed. She uh, ended up selling this for $35. It took one day to sell and she got it out of the trash. And if you look over here, let me see. I found everything I found for free. Curb alert, awesome finds in the trash. Go check that out to see what else she found that day. The next items come from Queen of Hearts Charnel. This is her channel. Right now, she's just doing videos where she shows you um, different uh, how items work. And she, I'm not sure what this one is. Always your best bet. Hmm, maybe she's got something else here. So definitely check out her channel. I will link her down below. And she sold this vintage stained slag glass sailboat with windows, cabin, one mast, anchor, and rope. She got this at the Goodwill for $4.99. It took two weeks to sell, and she took a best offer of $51. Huh, I'm clicking on that, and it's not opening. There we go. Oops, I think I just closed it out. Ah! I hit the, hit the wrong thing there. So we are going to go with this Hector Raskin Folk Art Angel Wings Carving Signed Wood Sculpture from New Mexico. And she got this at a yard sale for $1. It was missing a finger and had a repaired wing. And she took a best offer of $30 plus shipping on that. So I did accidentally delete one. I apologize for that. Um, so that was, I believe, 30 big money and unexpected bolo items to definitely be on the lookout for when you are out at thrift stores and garage sales, estate sales. Look for these items, you guys. They are fantastic. Again, go down and sub up all these channels, awesome reseller channels, great eBay stores. All of them are linked down below. Thank you for being here. If you would like to join memberships to be in a video like this, you can join at level two. There is a link down in the description. There should also be a join button, I think right here. So if that interests you, awesome. If not, no worries. Just come on back and watch and learn about bolos so that you can increase your knowledge to increase your sales. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.